My name is Sion Leslie. And I'm Tuan. Jamal. I'm Bradley, boys. I'm JJ. Lincoln. Lincoln. Get in there, Lincoln. <laughs> These guys are from Hackney Community College. Tell us what's the idea behind your project here today. Basically, the um, whole the whole thing that we've been doing so far, our project was based on body morphs. So we had to take two of um, our um, two ideas from our brainstorm and then um, morph them into one. So we um, basically our clothing design and everything has been based on morphing. So it's either in the middle of morphing or in its final morph altogether. What sort of things have you had to learn to do this? You've done pattern cutting yourself? Yeah, um, pre last year I did pattern cutting. But yeah, we just we had to take two ideas that we drawn from the ideas of Kew Gardens and just choose which one we want to do on the final idea and design it ourselves. And how about the printing? How did this, uh, for example, how did you print on that? Yeah, this is uh, done by sc uh, screen printing. Like you draw a stencil out onto some paper and you put it on the screen and then you add the dye onto the screen and it comes out li like this on the material. And your outfit, can you tell us what you were trying to achieve here? Basically it's kind of a, like a new camouflage kind of thing going on. I've got some leaves to put on, uh, change the colour of this. And yeah, I hope it turned out well, hopefully. So. And how are you feeling about this catwalk? Has anybody been on a catwalk before? Um, <laughs> no. no. We haven't, this is our first <laughs> <No>. time. <laughs> Nervous or do you reckon Hackney you're gonna you're gonna stick to do it, yeah we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, yep. <laughs> Just loads of confidence. Yep. Just loads of confidence. Very confident. And what are you hoping to achieve from today? Is it something is is fashion something you're gonna study further, you guys? Not really. We've just been um, doing this for because um, um, we are art and design students. We um, textile is one of our topics that we have to cover, and basically we just put done our best um, for this textiles, and we just want to show everybody how much um, we've learned and what we can do from scratch. So, using limited amount of materials as well. Guys, thank you very much. Good luck. Okay, thank you. We're backstage with Lizzie from Antiform and Karen from Ketchup. These ladies have been down from Leeds all week. Uh, tell us how you came to be working together, Lizzie. Well, we both have a, a massive interest in um, sustainable fashion, We're both up in Leeds, and we had studios about two minutes apart, and we spent the best part of six months running between the two, so we ended up in the same studio, and it's built from there, really. Um, I, mean, I think we both had a vast collection of fabric we'd just collected. I mean, for me, I just wanted to turn my fabric into something raiding people's bo bottom drawers and just aware of the amount of stuff that we throw away and just wanting to turn it into exciting exciting gear so that's what we've done we've pulled together a collection yeah. um, so it's a collection based on your two separate labels yeah two separate labels and we've come together and luckily it's sort of fitted it's worked it's in worked its own really well. instrumental way it's yeah. all pulled together so, so, so it's, it's the first really collection good. we've actually done yeah, done together. together and you've had a stall on the fashion market how's that been it's been great the response from people has been absolutely brilliant having ethical fashion that's just so fun so loud so bright people are really keen to wear it and just had a really it's changed response. as well. I know a couple of years ago I sort of introduced a few people, pieces and people didn't really understand it. But this time it's been great. They've come into the stall and they've they've understood it immediately. They're like, oh, it's reclaimed, it's yeah. recycled, but it's good. And people it's are really good. positive about re the reuse of fabrics. They really, really love the idea of you know, the history behind where all the fabrics have come from. And the fact that every single piece is going to be a one-off because the, the fabric is recycled. So can you talk us through a couple of pieces and tell us how they came into being? Well... This piece here was actually actually an armchair, um, which we ski which was skinned um, and has been remade into a leather jacket. So um, obviously it's really nice and worn. The leather's got some really nice feel to it. It's all worn in as opposed to using new leather, obviously which would be a lot flatter. Which is the same principle behind this one, which I've done small pattern pieces. So old leather jackets, maybe with a bit of a rip or a tear in it. You small pattern pieces, turn it down. Um, knitted t-shirts, knitted jersey, um, uh, so there's just, yeah, shredded t-shirts. Um, some stuff, it's just... Is that a blanket over there, a spot? Blanket, yeah. yeah. It's an official blanket that belonged to a granny that has been turned into a new jumper, which has been really popular this winter. Really good, 100% wool, so really comfy, really cosy. Um, and we've got the recut jersey. Recut jersey, which is going well, which is just again old T-shirts, but maybe with a stain or something, and you can cut them out and uh, and stitch them together. There's trousers and shorts and skirts. Um, 
tea towels, yeah, tea towels, little zip, zip mini dresses, zip dresses. So obviously most pieces are a one-off, but we're trying to get some sort of consistency with style. So we're hoping to wholesale about a collection of about five key pieces, um, but also engage people in that um, they can bring in their old fabrics and have the option of turning them into reworking them. Um, so they, so they, they can, participate in that. They can come to your studio with old clothes that they yeah. want to yeah. breathe new. up on the internet now as well, so they can get in touch over there online, post through all their old fabrics and get, get them sent back as a new garment. So really exciting projects, working alongside the actual wholesale collection. I think it has, fashion has been having a bit of a bad name, I think, recently as well, the whole sort of exploitation, the sweatshop. So we are quite keen to base it around a sort of social enterprise yeah. model, which so we're looking to work work with community groups in Leeds. We've already identified a few groups that we want to work with to look at manufacture, so look at actually manufacturing in this country. Yeah. How's, uh, how's Alternative Fashion Week felt to you? You've been part of it all week. Yeah, it's been great. It's been great to be around all, so many young designers and there's some really other great, fantastic, sustainable um, collections here and it's been a great chance to meet, meet other people in our position and, um, and meet, yeah, get some really good advice and feedback from people. It's been fantastic. Yeah, it's all been really positive. It's been yeah, good. We've bumped into our mate, Aaron Ray Dowie, who we met at Graduate Fashion Week last year. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to see you, actually. I've been keeping my eye out. I saw uh, the leaflets and I was really glad to bump into you. Well, we're glad to bump into you because, God, you've been a busy man since you graduated. Second prize in the menswear competition at Graduate Fashion Week, Rhythm Island. Uh, then you did a stint at... I am Lewin. Yeah, um, it was fantastic. Literally from graduating, spent time at River Island, designed their press collection. I've got eight top store pieces in the top store London branches. Then went to Lewin's. Um, I helped develop their John Franken range and then helped establish the made to measure departments for Lewin's. And now, sir, I believe you're at Crumbly with quite a nice job title. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, I'm actually the head of Made to Measure for Crumbly, uh, based down on Conduit Street, just near Savile Row, which is fantastic, real dream come true. Congratulations. Now, we're going to look at your collection. Can you talk us through some of the pieces? Because it's beautiful tailoring and it's a homage to Hitmen. Yeah, oddly enough, um, actually bumped into a, a real-life Hitman and based most of the collection around his life. So through interviews, draw, draw out lots of little details within the gentleman's life. Um, he was actually a Russian chap, so I keyed our key colour schemes, keeping quite dark and bleak, but with the red little uh, details drawn through, just picking up in the ties and also within the linings, picking up on more that Soviet. Feel. How did you bump into a Russian hitman? <laughs> Oddly enough, I was actually a, a cage fighter when I was younger, and he was a gentleman who I used to cage fight with. So, <laughs> not someone I, I'd, uh, I'd lose on purpose, obviously. <laughs> but, no, he was a great chap, so talked through his whole life. Uh, the gentleman was actually spent some time in the Foreign Legion, and their insignia is a flair de lis, but a grenade exploded flair de lis. So paying homage to that part of his life, all of the pocket bags are screen printed with... Show, show us some pieces, Aaron. Sephiru, you know, all the pocket bags are lined with this. Um, well, I have to screen print them myself. Uh, it's a Bamberg taffeta with a, a raised screen print line. Um, also, actually, within some of the jackets, like this piece, actually has set into the lining large pieces. And actually, y you guys were fantastic enough to use the, the picture of this as your main piece for Graduate Fashion Week last year, which was fantastic press. It was wonderful. And even the ties, actually, while I was at Lewins, I requested them to stitch up some fledly embroidered ties for me, which is fantastic. And all the pieces as well, little details within the Hitman. Uh, this one's actually got a, a gun holster set within the piece and if you could take your jacket off just to show that waistcoat the waistcoat set with leather details but you had to spin round actually has a gun holstered seam section here the back of the waistcoat is knitted as well this came from a pair of driving gloves which inspired the collection as well the knitted back gloves and just that association with the leather um, gloves of a hitman and now we know you, you're a fantastic tailor that's very evident but knitting Knitting, oh yeah, that was fantastic. That was a collaboration, actually. Um, one of my friends is a Japanese student who uh, studies knitwear, so she managed to send in samples of these really old driving gloves and get them to mimic through the, the, the fine gauge nest, which is great.